Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Dan back with another Every McFarland Toys video. This time we're talking about Every Spawn Universe McFarland Toys. So he first showed this off in day three of his summer showcase that we were going to be getting a Spawn universe. And he's spun off into so many different comics now that his universe is going to be expanding very rapidly. And it's nice that he's finally getting into his own toy designs here again. So there are the different Spawn verse universe books that he is putting out this year. Six number ones. And here's a nice shot of one of the covers from his Spawn books back in the day. And then... Kind of revamping or re showing that uh, actual action figure there in the same form. Showing how well he put it in plastic form. Again with Hellspawn here. Clown and a Violator. Gunslinger Spawn. It's a really nice uh, ACBA here. Redeemer. And guys, these did go up on pre-order back in June. Really nice diorama set up behind them here. These figures look amazing. So if you haven't already got these spawn figures ordered get on over to big bad toy store link in the description also in the card above and get these pre-ordered for the spawn universe figures jump on over to big bad toy store so here is the clown in his package from the front and the side really nice artwork on the side as well but this is a deluxe figure it comes with all kinds of blades you can see his bullets there on his chest there his leather jacket it comes with this massive backpack which is what makes him deluxe also all McFarlane toys do come with the figure base stand there different hands he has as well but there is that huge backpack with the missile launchers and the guns only problem I have with this figure and I don't show it in these pictures is that due to the fact that this backpack has to peg into his back there's a massive hole on his back, so you can't just have him standing there uh, in any kind of pictures with uh, his back turned to you without the backpack on or else you see this massive hole. There it is from the sides. Next we have our mega scale figure, which is 50 bucks for this guy, the Violator. He is massive. Again, with the figure base stand he does come with, there's a nice close-up of his face. He's got the horns in his face on his head. There's massive gnarly teeth. From the sides and the back. Here's your target exclusive, only exclusive so far. The Gunslinger Spawn. Front and back the package. Got that nice gun there, multiple guns. This has got a really cool look to it. Again with the figure base stand. Front, back, and side of the figure. I love how he's got the holster on his back for his gun. So here we go with the Redeemer spawn. Front and back of the package. Got that nice wingspan, his sword. He does come with a regular base instead of a flight stand. Uh, I know McFarlane has put out flight stands with some of their DC stuff, so I'm not sure why this one didn't get one. Side of the figure. Back showing those nice wings pegged into the back. 
Here we are with our Raven Spawn, front and back of the package. Got his nice chain weapon there, his staff. Figure base stand as well. Back of the figure. I love the design on McFarland's capes are amazing. Side of the figure. So that is what we have so far for the Wave 1 of the Spawn Universe. So really cool. McFarland has really done some great stuff already and I can't wait to expand this. And he does really great promotional shots as well. So again, these went up for pre-order. You can find them in your Target stores as well. Especially this guy, you gotta find him in Target. He'll probably be the most rare and most expensive of them all if you find him. So here is a Redeemer figure, Platinum Edition. There's only 3,000 of these made. And the only difference that I can tell is that the sword is different that comes with it. Now you can't tell that from the back of the picture, but look in the package there and you can see the difference between the two swords from the original release, which was that gold sword you see on the back of the package, and this new release that's got more curve to it. So there's different angles of that Platinum package. Chase variant. And all the artwork on it as well. And we got a little tease here of a variant of the Redeemer spawn, black and silver. And then also from she, we have a deluxe she spawn coming. So 40 bucks for her. I'm not sure why she's going to be deluxe yet, but there is her head sculpt and what that's going to look like. All right, so Todd showed off McFarland Day 2021 back on October 15th through 16th for GameStop exclusives. He had two spawns that he showed off, both of them bloody variants of the Mega Scale or Mega Fig for Violator. So one of them is a limited edition with a signed art print. Right there he showed it off. You see the blood on him. And there's a little write-up on what all was released that day and a write-up on that autograph version as well. And there's a write-up on the regular scale version or regular version of Violator without the card. So here's the autograph version. Again, pre-doors went up on GameStop. Now these two figures are exactly the same. You'll see the card here though on the front of this box and inside the package. It does come with the figure stand. And there you can see that signed art print included on the front of that box. Close up of him with all the blood stains. And here is that regular release that was also a pre-order pre for GameStop. Again with the figure stand, but no card this time. You see the front of the package there, there's no card. And there's the side of the package and the back of the package looks the same for both. Front and back of the figure, you see his spine all protruding, the big old horn over his head. You see the figure from the sides, all those little spikes on his elbows and everything. Right, so next we have wave two of the Spawn Universe figures here showing off. With these three general releases that came out first. So we did talk about teasing the gold and silver or black and silver version here. But here is a, another release of the Gunslinger spawn. This time he has a Gatling gun. So rather than it being a target exclusive, this is exclusive. This is, goes everywhere. You can see the package from all angles. It does come with two handguns as well as the Gatling gun and the figure base. And you can see the figure from all sides. So if it feels hard for you to get the target exclusive, this is one for you as well. Target exclusive actually came with the rifle instead of the Gatling gun. So here is your other version here. This is a repaint again. This is the Dark Redeemer though they're calling it. And again I teased that earlier. 
I'm going to shut off the head for the she spawn. There's his nice wingspan. Comes with his sword. Comes with the figure base that says spawn on it as well. And there he is from different angles, front and sides, and the back. And here's the last general release of Wave 2. Your Soul Crusher. Got the gas mask on, the green hood and cape. The different guns, the handgun and the machine gun with the sword, uh, the knife on the front of it there. The figure base as well. Its holster will hold the gun on the side. And I love that cape. It looks so much like cloth, but of course it's not. So that's those three general releases. And then we got our mega scale or mega fig of Cygor. Front and back of the package. You got the side of the package with that beautiful artwork on it. it comes with the figure stand as well. He's got the scars all over his body sewn up. The metal arms, feet, face sculpt. So this thing is awesome, massive, amazing looking. There just on the side, you can see those teeth all sharp. And then you have your deluxe version of She Spawn. And we always wondered why was it deluxe? Well look at all those weapons she's coming with. That's why it's deluxe. Plus the figure stand. I don't even know how to name all those weapons. She got the chain, extra hand sculpts. Machine gun, machine gun, uh, long range rifle maybe, and then some kind of a, uh, you got the sword and then some kind of a big staff with a, a hook on it. That's the front and the back of the package. Holding the long range rifle, the machine gun, the sword, it's got giant hair. And you can see the hair on, off the back. She's almost like Medusa. Got the bullets around her shoulder there. Another chain up on her shoulder. So there's your nice scale comparison between Wave 1 and Wave 2's Mega Scales. There's all your Wave 2 figures. And there they are compared to some McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 spawn figures. Alright, then we're showing off, uh, Todd shows off some images here of a gunslinger on a horse. So I guess this may be a two pack or something maybe coming. And he also showed off Ninja Spawn. Got the swords on the back. So this will be very interesting to see where the, what these look like and when they're coming. So check out Wave 3 here that was revealed. The Winter Showcase, February 25th, 2022 from McFarlane Toys. And here's Todd having to talk about this new wave. Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane. Let's talk about all things Spawn. Let's talk about Wave 3. Got some of the cool characters here from the comic books that are going to come into plastic form. We've got Haunt. We've got Overkill. We've got Spawn sitting on his throne, and we've got Ninja Spawn. Again, some of the cool stuff from the comic book. Let's take a closer look at them. Here's one I'm not supposed to show you. I only could show you the back. We'll get to that in another video. But Spawn on the throne, the thing that's cool about him, if you come in close here, is that we designed the cape so that when you put it on him, he can actually look like he's sitting in there. Uh, because you can't obviously have a piece of plastic going all the way up underneath him and have him sitting there. So we've created it in such a way that when he's sitting there, it looks like he's sitting on his cape. Uh, let's look at the gnarly overkill. Look at the face and the teeth on here. He's sort of a zombie superhero guy. Uh, we want to make sure that he's nice and cool. And then one of the newcomers to the spawn world here, 
the haunt, right? He comes with his base. You get some of this cool, gnarly, weird stuff up on him. He's got his haunt magic that's in there. Lots of articulation. So if any of you guys are interested in the Spawn toys and or comic books, Wave 3 coming your way with four new additions here. One, two, three, four, and some secrets. Bye. Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. Just want to tease everybody. It's been way, way, way too long since we did a Kickstarter. So we're coming back. I'm going to show you all the detail and all the glory, but just giving you a little bit of a tease of who it might be. There's a piece here. And just to show you how good the detail is going to be, I'm only going to show you a small piece, but this is the chest of our character. So if you can guess which one it's going to be, good on you. We'll be revealing all of the figure and the new Kickstarter coming soon. So let's first start talking about the one he said he's not supposed to show us yet, which looks from the back to be maybe medieval spawn. So I'm wondering if this might be Todd's next Kickstarter, maybe. Uh, you can also see this chest plate here. I found this video, this picture on 20s International, so I'm not sure if that's going with that medieval spawn or not. But check that out. So what do you guys think about a medieval spawn? That'd be kind of cool looking. So let's talk about the five figures. Todd only showed us four of them, but there were five revealed and released today on pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. If you haven't already done so, get on over to Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description, card above, and get these pre-orders in for all these spawn figures. But here's the four that he showed off from his winter showcase. You got your massive mega scale figure there, spawn on his throne, and a couple other figures. But there are the five that are up for pre-order right now. So first off, let's talk about the spawn on his throne. So you can tell his cape is actually shorter than usual. Now the reason for that is because he kind of built the cape into the throne there so that as you have spawn sitting on the throne, the, the shoulders from the cape can actually kind of sit up on the throne as well, making it look like it's kind of draping down off the throne while he's sitting on it. So that's kind of neat. So there's spawn from all angles with his shorter cape there. And then no cape on them with the rest of the sides. And in package from the side and the back. Beautiful artwork on the back there. And from the front. So you can see that little peg hole there for the cape. You can see how it pegs into his back. And as he's sitting on the throne, you can see what he's talking about. Where the cape looks like it's kind of draping down and out of the uh, back of spawn there. Out of the uh, throne. So next figure we have here is the ninja spawn. You see his swords, all his different weapons. Comes with the figure base as well. All four angles there, got the green eyes of course. And there's the package from all sides. So here we are with another one of McFarlane Toys mega scale figures this massive figure for overt kill big old cyborg guy you can see he's got a little tiny little figure base there as well got some bright colors there to him of course you got the cyborg metallic body there Them ugly teeth one eye one metallic eye let the figure stand there like i said he's standing on figure from the back and here he is in package from the front and the back, again with the beautiful artwork that Todd does. And from the side. So here we are with the haunt figure. Very symbiote looking here. Look at those sharp teeth. That little circle thing right there in his chest and the kind of symbiote tentacles coming off of him. Figure stand. All angles and the figure package from all sides and then one that Todd didn't even talk about another Raven spawn so he's got this little 
I don't even know what you want to call it. Staff with the axe on the top. Figure stand and the hook there too. From the back, the sides, and the front there. Really bright green eyes. And there's the package from all angles. So that's a pretty cool Wave 3 right there. So here's Todd showing off his next two. Got the blood version of the Clown Deluxe and the designer edition Gunslinger Spawn on his horse. McFarland Day 2022. So here those two are. Got their nice images right here of the Gunslinger Spawn on his horse. And of the Clown blood spattered all over him. Same backpack. But it's got blood all over him. Front and back of the horse and spawn. Side of spawn and the horse. All the accessories that they come with, all the guns. Nice saddle on that horse. In package, you do see McFarlane Designer Edition. Side of the package, back of the package. And then here's the Clowns Deluxe box set. Again, bloody version. Front and back, sides. That huge accessory stand, the extra hands, all that good stuff that he does come with. There it is from the back, from the front, and from the sides with that saw that he's got there, saw sword. So is this the best munitions pack ever put out? 15 plus weapons, you just saw them all. Front and back side of that package, holy cow. Todd is putting it out there for us. There are all those weapons for you right there. You got your spawn holding different ones. Gunslinger spawn that is. Your regular spawn. She spawn. All right, so next thing we have is the Manga Spawn, Target Exclusive, Mega Scale. There he's from the back with his swords, his green. And this is also Designer Edition, McFarlane. And then you also have the Manga Spawn, Target Exclusive. Big old massive shoulder pad. You have the other version here, which has got the Todd McFarlane signed. You can see the difference on the logo there, and then you see the signature inside there. The figure itself is exactly the same, you just got the signature. But the box does look different. All right, Summer McFarlane Toys Showcase Day 2 showed off some spawn teases here of the Plague Spawn Preview and the Nightmare Spawn Preview. So here those two are. The detail on these sculpts is so amazing, especially for the price that we pay. So here is the Way 4 spawn with Nightmare Spawn. Got the wings, this figure stand. Very skinny legs there. 
figure stand, of course, like I said, front, back, sides. And there's the package itself. Awesome artwork on the back. So here's some of Todd's official images. Looks so good. Like magma coming out of his eyes and his mouth. Then you have your Wave 4 Plague figure. Again, really cool looking design. Got that nice base that he comes with with the skulls on it. Extra hands, the base. Look at that back piece. That is cool looking. And the box as well. Cool artwork. And so yeah, along with this Wave, we have some more here. That are for pre-order on Stikes Like Big Bad Toy Store. But you have your Mega Scale fig of Omega Spawn. Figure stand. He's got the chains around his chest, the horns on his head, this massive fur thing that he's got on his back. I'll show you here in a second. You can see it from the front. But there it is from all angles, especially the back. Fur or feathers. I guess feathers probably. There's the sides of that package. And again, awesome artwork on the back. And you have your two pack with Sam and Twitch. And then you have your King Spider Wave 4. So here's that King Spider. Got the green around the neck and on the arms, on the legs as well. The chain with the mace on the end. Another base that he comes with. Extra hands. From all angles there. Got the gold pieces around his legs and his his chest and back there. I love that face sculpt. And there's that box right there with a the nice artwork on the back. And then here's our two pack with Sam and Twitch. Both have figure stands, both have their guns. But there you see them up close. So here he is, Sam. Front and back, sides, and twitch. And the back and side of the package there as well. It's a nice shot of the mega scale, the individual, and the two pack. Promotional images. So yeah, check out all these new guns for this accessory pack. Crazy amount and crazy guns here. There's the front and back of the package. And there it is in plastic. And compared to the original accessory pack. So back in New York Comic Con 2022, we showed the Todd showed the Medieval Spawn, Monolith, and Sin as previews for coming spring 2023. And then fast forward to winter 2023 of day three of the winter showcase, which was March the 2nd. We have spawn reveals of these three figures. Let's get in here and check out what these figures look like from the Winter Showcase. Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. Welcome to the Winter Showcase. I just want to go over some of the cool pre-orders you can get for the latest Spawn Wave that we've got coming out. And you're going to be able to do some of these pre-orders at some of the select retailers. Take a look at the link there. Uh, we got the Sin character, although guess what? You're going to be able to get a look of Sin that's in a story that's upcoming in which he changes his look. Uh, the book isn't out yet. You're gonna get an early visual of what he's gonna look like in there. So this is 
sort of you're ahead of the game in terms of the story. So look for Sin, who's one of my new big bat guys. Um, we've got one of the favorites. We've been around for a long time. We've got the Medieval Spawn. All right, here's a cool cover so you guys can see what he looks like. And then we've got the pre-order toy you can get to even put that cover on the back here. Uh, here's a pre-order of it. Inspired by some of the art by Bjorn, who does a lot of cool covers for me. So if you guys are into medieval, take a look at that. Do the pre-order on him. And then last but not least, we've got another character that we're starting to build up to get a lot more play, but he's been on plenty of covers. Monolith. So there's my big giant dude, right? He's been on the cover there, been on the cover there, been on the cover there. And then here's the cover that I did. This is his first appearance on the cover. Uh, so issue 313 is the first appearance for him if you want to kill him. But here's the big, here's the big toy here of him. This is going to be a mega figure. Uh, you can pre-order that. He's got some artwork uh, that was some of the interior artwork that we have in the comic book. So if you want something big, you get monolith. If you want something cool in detail, you get medieval spawn. And if you just want our nasty bad guy, then you go and get Sin. And he's the badass. That's a whole crew thing. All those are going to be on pre-order here. Check the link. Select retailers. Go check it out now. And just like with the Movie Maniacs we saw back at New York Comic Con 2022 that these figures were going to be coming. And so we got Sin, Medieval, Spawn, and Monolith. So here is Sin looking like Lex Luthor in his power suit, I think. With the chains hanging down as well. Got this weird blue flame effect that he comes with and his base. The cape stick out the back as well. There it is in package from all angles. Next we have the medieval spawn. Got the hammer he comes with and the sword. Love the face sculpt on this. See the chains coming off the skull on the front of the belt there. Big old shoulder pads. Got the base as well. And again with the cape sticking out the back. I love those little red skulls up to the top right there. There's the package from all angles. And then as we teased originally on day two, at the end of day two, we were getting Monolith as the mega scale. So here he is as well. Skulls down the top of his skull. Big old shoulder pads for him with skulls on it as well. Got the figure base. Got that nice belt around his waist there. Some kind of packaging on his thigh there. Oh, I mean, this guy's just got accessories everywhere, but they don't come off, of course. Got spikes all over the place. I love that face sculpt. There it is from the back as well. Big old feet. Here's the package from all angles. Love that artwork too. It's crazy. Nice mega scale monolith figure. So there is the figures in package for this particular wave coming out with Medieval Spawn, Monolith, and Sin. Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. Let's talk about a GameStop exclusive for any of you that are interested. We do the big oversized toys, what we call the mega toys, right? Our mega figures. This one is Monolith from the Spawn comic book character I created. Uh, there it is, Carlo Barbary artwork on the back there. But we're doing a little of the cover that I did with the character on it. And I'm signing 500 of them, right? They're gonna be here, but I just wanted to show you that, as you can see, I'm just winding up here. I've got like the 500 I signed in silver, but I also inserted 10 gold ones. So as you can see here, besides the silver, there's gonna be 10 of the 500 will be in gold and I put a number on each one. I, I sequentially number them. So there'll be a, a one of 10, a two of 10, a three of 10, et cetera, et cetera, all the way up to a 10 of 10. So 
Uh, not only can you get one that has an autograph on it, but you can get one that's even super rare. That's a gold one, one of 10. Take a look at it, GameStop exclusive. Be good. Wow. So 500 signatures, 10 out of the 500 will be gold signatures numbered one through 10. Nice job, Todd. GameStop exclusive, monolith figure, mega scale, really cool. All right, so you see it's gold label. You see the Todd McFarlane signature there or what it might look like on the card. GameStop exclusive. Side of the box there, you see the front showing signed by Todd. Got the figure stand, the figure himself, and the front and the back of that package. All right, so here we are with the gold label spawn, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, limited to 3,000 pieces. Shadow of Spawn, black and white edition. You can see it's not really black and white, it's kind of black and green. Let's hear what Todd has to say about it. Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane. Hey, we've got another exclusive here for you from Big Bad Toy Store, right? We're just taking the Shadow of Spawn figure doing some cool accent hits on it. And if you get it under the right light, you get this cool look at it. Let's open it up, see what we get here. We've got Spawn, and we're gonna get the, obviously the green that sort of supplants the silver and the white normally. We've got gray color. I don't know if it's showing up, but we've got gray for the packs and the boots and the cape and the cowl and the gauntlet on his arm and then we've got black that's in there so you got three colors you got your dark gray you got your black and then we've got our accent color you're gonna get a card and a stand on there I'm basically gonna pull all those out and that's at big bad toy store exclusive go get it so yeah shadow of spawn black and white accent edition that's why it's got the green uh, you can also tell like he said it's got gray in it as well uh, and then the black gold label you can see it in package there with the card got his weapon behind that card in the stand he's also got his his stand for the figure you can see 2023 exclusive big bad toy store there's those weapons he comes with you can see the certificate of authenticity and then there's the package from all angles Figure up close, got that nice green effect. I hope it glows, because if not, that would be disappointing. There's a the figure from the sides and the front. There's chains coming out around him. And then from the back, and of course, Todd does amazing jobs on his capes. So here's all the individual releases in package, wave one through four, plus the platinum and munitions pack there. Here's all of the deluxe or two packs. And then all the mega scale figures. And then I'm gonna throw these in here just because they came out right before this spawn universe. Here's the Mandarin spawns. Front, back, and sides. And then package. Got the gold label version here in blue. All the weapons, the base there, front, back, and side. And the box. And you got your deluxe Mandarin spawn. Big old shield. There he's from the back too. Bonus mini poster with this. All those accessories. and in package designer series. So there's all three of those in package. All right, Todd also teased us during the New York Comic Con that we were gonna be getting three inch page punchers for spawn with gunslinger spawn, anti-spawn, auger, and regular spawn. You see the comic books? Well, here we are. 
We finally are getting them. And we do have two packs for each of these. Page punchers. So here's the first two pack with spawn and anti-spawn. You see it does come with a comic book and a stand. And there's the three inch figures. Got the capes on. Very detailed for small figures. Not much articulation though in these little guys. It gives kids the opportunity to read spawn books and understand what the history is. There's that stand in the comic and the tiny little figures. Here's the other two pack with Gunslinger spawn and Auger spawn. Got the spike there on the hand. The gun on Gunslinger, both sides. Got the hat on his head. Figures from the back and from the sides. There's the comic, the stand, and the figures. And there is both sets of two packs for the Page Punchers 3 inch spawn two packs. We're checking out the McFarlane Toys Spawn vs. Anti Spawn and Gunslinger vs. Auger two packs from Page Punchers. These figures come in a Page Punchers blister pack with an English only reprint of the comic from which the figures originate. Page Punchers are packed with two 3 inch pocket sized heroes or villains based on Spawn's universe. Each figure is highly detailed and features six points of articulation to punch and kick. Each Page Punchers 2 pack includes a display stand to showcase both the comic book and figures. Visit McFarlane.com to collect all of your favorite McFarlane Toys Page Punchers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.